Chris has given it out. So, number one, marketing. What is marketing? Who can tell me what marketing is? Anyone know what marketing is? Give the hazard, I guess. Creating awareness of your product and service. Absolutely. Marketing is your opportunity to educate your clients and how you can provide a solution to help them reach their goals. Marketing is an education process. The outcome of marketing is what? To generate a lead. So lead generation, you'll see in your sheet, the very first one you see at the top is lead generation. Generating a lead is the first input that you actually have. The next aspect to the next fundamental is sales. Look folks, if you're in business, you're selling something. By the way, my definition of marketing is every single contact someone has in your business with the outside world. Every single contact someone has in your business with the outside world is a piece of marketing. What do your employees say to their friends or family, everyone else about your business? That's when you truly have a great business, when you have confidence that even your employees are going out there and saying, it's a great business to work for. How good would that be to have a business like that? So that's marketing. The next aspect is sales. Many people, I do a lot of sales training, and many people think of sales as closing the deal. It's a very important part of it. But sales is a process, folks. Sales starts at marketing and never ends. Never ends. Because that aspect to it of customer service. Do you know it's six times less expensive to go back and sell to one of your current customers than it is to market to a new customer? So you must maintain rapport after the sale. And to, to achieve the sale, you must build rapport. There's actually four factors, four very important factors. Trust, need, help, and hurry. If you can establish those four factors, you'll close the deal. So sales is another part of it. And of course, sales is all about converting the leads into customers. So the compounding formula that you have in front of you starts with lead generation times sales equals customers. The next part of it is your uh, number of transactions. That's the number of times that customer will come back to you time and time again. And that's customer service. You can tell me what customer service is. What's customer service? Looking after your customer. Looking after your customer. Yep, absolutely. Folks, customer service is anything your customer wants it to be. Find out what your customers want. Build your unique selling proposition, or I like to call it your unique value proposition. Round about what your customers want, and they will come back to you time and time again. Service about what your customers want. A lot of people. You know, say, I selling quality, we are. You know, we stand for quality. Well, so does each one of your competitors, guys. Every single business I go into says we stand for quality. What's quality? Quality is not what you make. Quality is what your customer gets out of what you make. So start thinking in terms of what the customer wants, needs, and use the benefits of your quality product to sell to them. The next step in the formula is your average, your average value sale. And that's upsell, cross-sell, whatever it may be. Now, one of the most, the best known, probably, examples I can give you is McDonald's. Now, I don't personally eat McDonald's, but you're into McDonald's and uh, the one thing they say to you is, would you like to go large? Yep, it's an upsell, 30 pence to go large. How big is McDonald's? There's 28,000 McDonald's in the world. One in three people say yes to that. How many millions of people buy from McDonald's every day? One in three say yes to that. 30 pence, you do the maths. So it's important. Selling is about professionally uh, giving your customers what they need. And if, if, if they need other, other types of services or products that you can offer them, if there's something they need, then why not make them aware of it? Why not sell it to them? So, so far, what have we got? Yeah, number of leads times your conversion rate equals your number of customers, multiplied by the number of transactions you have each day, multiplied by your average sale equals your revenue. You then multiply that by your profit margins and you'll get your actual profit. So that's a formula for business, folks. It's the most powerful secret I can share with you. It's a compounding formula for business, and I'll explain that in a minute. 
Profit margins, by the way, is one of the first things I work on in any business. One aspect of business that, uh, for example, in a manufacturing environment, uh, getting more out at the same time is a great way of increasing your margins, but there's so much you can do with your margins. The first thing you have to understand what your margins are, what your true margins are, and then see how you can improve them. So if you can take a pen, what I like to do in that first column for leads, I've got four, th and this, this, this doesn't matter if this relates to you in a day, a month, a year. So the number of leads I've got in that first box here is 4,000 leads. So just follow me as I go along. 4,000 leads multiplied by 25%, that's your conversion rate, gives you 1,000 customers. Yep, everyone follow that? Mm -hmm. Times two, in other words, they each buy from you twice in that given period, whether it's a week, a month, or a year, doesn't matter. Multiply by 100 pounds, that's the average sale. Gives you 200,000 pound in revenue. Everyone following the formula? Mm -hmm. Multiplied by 25% margins, so that's what you're making on everything you sell, leaves you 50,000 pounds. Folks, I have 400 strategies that works in each one of those inputs that produce your customers, your revenues, and your profits. 400 proven strategies. If I'm working with businesses in, for over a year, do you think it's possible that I can increase each one of those inputs by just 10%? Do you think that's possible? Using, using some of the 400 strategies that are proven? Absolutely. So I want you to write in each one of those boxes where it says increase, I want you to write 10%. So for lead generation, we increase from 4,000 to 4,400. Yep, everyone agree? What about conversion rate? What's 10% over on top of 25%? What is that? What does that come out at? 27 and a half. It's a marginal increase. It's an, it's an aggregate increase, folks. Not going to 35%. 27.5. Gives you 1,210 customers. Multiplied by 2.2. So you're adding 10% onto you know improving number of transactions by 10% to 2.2. Where average sale goes up to 110, again, a 10% increase. So overall then, do you agree we've increased our revenue by 10%? No. Yeah. Why? Because we've achieved the compounding effect. We've actually increased our revenue by 42%. Because we've achieved the compounding effect. Isn't that amazing? You increase your margins by 10%, it goes to 27.5%. Or 20, yeah, 27.5%. And you actually increase your profits to over 80,000, in fact, 18,500. That's a 61% increase in your profits by just looking at the inputs to your business and increasing them by 10%. So, folks, what I would encourage you is this is yours to take away. Take it away, apply your own figures to it in your own business. Understand some of the strategies. When you go onto my website, there's lots of strategies there. Of course, my job is to coach you to them. But go onto my website, there's strategies there that you can look at. And look at strategies to help you increase your business. So my offer, folks, today, what I do with any business owner, I'll come in and I will do your five ways with you. I'll come in and work out these with you, completely free of charge. I'll give you strategies and areas to improve your business because m my goal is to add value whenever I go. And I truly believe if I come in and add value to a business, then that business will want to do business to me in the future. So by all means, talk to me afterwards, folks. Uh, I would love to come in and meet you in your own business and, and try and help you. So thank you very much. I hope this has been very beneficial for you. I've enjoyed it. Is there any questions before I, before I stop? Anyone, any questions? Okay, so if you log on to my website, it's www.actioncoach.com forward slash Derek Mayer, D-E-R-E-K-M-A-I-R. -E In fact, you'll see that at the bottom of your sheet. So thank you very much. I enjoyed speaking with you today. And by all means, come and see me afterwards.